Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Rose and this is Miss Rose Tarot and I love to see my Aquarians here. How y'all guys doing? Today we're going to be talking about the energies for the second half of February for you guys. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. Let's get it started, I would say. Okay, let's see. So most of y'all already had your birthdays, my Aquarian sons especially. Hope you're feeling good. And I hope your new year, or like this new year of your life, is going to be awesome, okay? Wow, we do have the world, the, the two of ones, the king of ones here. The fool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. I got this energy Ten of Swords showing up here as well. Knight of Swords. Ace of Cups, the Hermit, Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Okay, the Magician at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius, take the messages, how they resonate. We're going to check out Oracle cards, lots of Oracle cards as well for y'all. Okay. Uh, if you feel like you need any more information, check out the reading of your Moon, Venus, and Rising sign as well. And, yeah, if you want to, if you like this reading, you know your support means the world to me, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm uploading bi-weekly readings for all of the zodiac signs, and I also upload collective love messages every week. And... The occasional pick a card reading. Okay, let's go, guys. So we do have a few different messages in your reading um, for the next couple of weeks. Um, some pleasant and a bit more unpleasant uh, messages here for you, Aquarius. So what I'm thinking is that for some of y'all, um, you were thinking about the next step, okay, the world and the two of ones. There could have been an offer that was coming your way, okay? Maybe it already happened. If not, expect an offer <laughs> for you guys. Uh, for some of you, this could be about love. We have the Ace of Cups here as well. doesn't have to be, okay? So this is a general reading. It's not in particular for singles. This is not in particular for work for your job. This is just a general check-in. So I'm going to be exploring uh, different energies for you, okay? So I'm going to be giving you some messages and you just take the ones where you feel like, yeah, this is this is me, this resonates, okay? So, but if y'all single could be that there is an offer coming your way um, regarding love, if, it could also be job-related or even both, okay? For some of you, you might be thinking about relocating. Um, if you have apply to a job uh, in a different country or in a different city, this is coming, okay? It's coming. You can expect this to happen for you, okay? All in all, there's a great energy here with the magician. I do think that you're very powerful at the moment, that you can create the life that you want. And I do think that you also have the drive and the passion here with the king of wands. And the two of wands is more about pondering and contemplating, right? So I do think that you're going to have to make a decision very, very soon. Um, the Fool is the beginning of a new journey here. The Major Arcana, the first card of the Major Arcana, the zero um, without the weight of the past, right? So a brand new experience waiting for you, definitely Aquarius. So if you have been thinking about a wish that you want to have fulfilled regarding your career or your love life or your artistic life, your creativeness or all of it, so with the magician here and the fool, I do think that you're very, very, very powerful at creating the life that you want at the moment. You have this energy to strive with the king of ones and with the fool, we have the sign that you're going to start this brand new journey. Okay, awesome. So the more unpleasant message that I'm getting here is that, uh, well, you know, we have the ten of swords, the nine of swords and the knight of swords. I do think for some of y'all, and we did have this energy in an overall reading of all of us. So I don't know if you have watched my 2023 prediction videos. If you did, there was this heavy energy for all of us, for each zodiac sign that there are people 
or that there are things happening, let's say, that way. Well, we find out about people that we trust and that they're maybe not as trustworthy, okay? So for some of y'all, it could happen that you will find out about somebody here. Could also be another air sign here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ten of Swords, backstabbing energy, Nine of Swords. And I do think that you're going to need to retreat a little bit, okay? Your social life might not be the most important thing for you, okay? You have something to focus on, Aquarius, right? And I do think that for some of y'all, you're like, oh my god, no. I just, Nine of Swords, it's like anxiety, staying up awake, right? I do think, um, of course, it's like a blessing in disguise, but it's... It's never uh, an easy or a nice situation when we find out that somebody is like a backstabber or is betraying us or is talking bad uh, behind our back. Yeah, like bad things happen to all of us, to me, all of the time. And it's very hurtful. So the hermit here, Virgo energy, you might have some Virgo energy, uh, sorry, Virgo placements in your birth chart. Okay, but what I think here with the three of um, pentacles, nice earth energy here, and the ace of cups. What I do think is, amongst other things, is that there is, you know, yeah, there's this person, there's this thing happening, but on the other hand, you will experience and enjoy genuine connections, okay? Three of pentacles, like this teamwork thing, this, you know, sticking together and I do think for lots of y'all um you will experience and enjoy this too at the very same time so regarding love what I'm seeing here is that for lots of you there's going to be a brand new chapter if you're on a relationship already Aquarius um I do think that you and your person are going to take it to the next level here ace of cups the next chapter three of pentacles working on something together building something up and I do think this energy will intensify if you're single, guys, and we, we're going to check out some Love Oracle cards as well. If you're single, I do think that there's going to be an offer for you, okay? Could be a Virgo, maybe. Could be a water sign or somebody with heavy water placements and fire as well. That's what I'm feeling, okay? So overall, yeah, this is not the most pleasant energy. But I honestly, I do think you're going to be very busy about making those decisions okay and they're going to be I mean the world card is amazing I maybe didn't talk too much about it in the beginning this is like the completion uh, of one cycle in your life and then starting the next chapter okay there's lots of possibilities and opportunities for you coming in and there's going to be a choice that you make and I do think you're gonna you're gonna say yes to this brand new journey whatever this means for you new job relocating new connections and you love Ace of Cups this year, okay? Starting your creative business, your creative work. Awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. Change will come soon. These are my Miss Rose Tarot Divine Guidance Oracle cards. I made them for my channel. There is committed energy around this connection. Yeah, I was, I was kind of talking about that, right? I was kind of talking about the... The person here not being too honest and you know being like a backstabber maybe talking bad behind your back but I do I did tell you that you're gonna experience like committed energy and people that stick and that are honest with you at the same time okay Rest assured that conflict and struggles will be over soon and forgiving and healing popped out for you Yes. Aquarius, let's check out one Monology Oracle card. Mm -hmm. It's your card. <laughs> it's the new moon in Aquarius and it says bring love into the situation. Oh yeah, this is really... I know you, yeah, I do think that you're gonna, you know, remove yourself gracefully from that. Like, you'll be like, okay, whatever. This is hurtful. I trusted you. I thought you were a better person, but I'm going to retreat. Okay, I'm going to retreat and you do you. The angel answers say not the right time. Okay, could be important for some of y'all. 
Now let's check out some love oracle cards for you, Aquarius. The Romans Angels. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. So this could be about this person. And it doesn't have to be about um, relation, uh, like a romantic relationship, okay? Yeah, now you're going to say, but you told us that these are the Romans Angels. <laughs> True, these are the Romans Angels Oracle cards, but... With my readings, they're very intuitive, okay? Like, it doesn't matter too much if these are Romans angels. Like, for me, those cards can be talking about every kind of personal relationship. Also friendships or family relationships, right? Fin especially, you know, a general reading, you know, let's say general reading. And then we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, and you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Last but not least, let's check out the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards for you guys. We have love calls, someone expresses love, a message of love, and thinking of you and letting you know. And the Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. All right, Aquarius. This was your tarot reading for the second half of February 2023. If you want to support me, please leave a comment, a like, and subscribe. You would help me out with that. And I do see you next time, guys. Okay, bye. I love y'all. Take care and hydrate yourself.